welcome to the video in this video i am making fabrication drawing for this beam member beam one there is three type of beam first is the beam one it is coming on the left side if you will see on the plan this first truss it is coming if you will you will stand on the front face of the column and then this truss will be on your left side so this is beam left and this one will be in the middle and this will be on the right so this will be on beam right so the b what is the difference between beam one or and left and right only the ipad direction facing of the ipad direction so if you will make like copy then it will when during fixing you will face the problem so you have to make different one member left side and one right side if continuous parking then the all the intermediate trusses you have to make with double ipads so here basically for the bend and this internal diagonal member will be same for the all four trusses the only difference is between this three trusses is the ipad quantity and the direction so today i will make this fabrication drawing for this i will copy from the 3d model truss including the ipad so i copy only b1 left this one okay so i will paste it to new file go to top view i have made this block so i will explode this one this is also block explode delete explode delete i will go on that side elevation then this ipad will be with column so we don't need in this this also column uh, this ipad also with column so here now we have only complete structure of b1 left so what we do here there is a first group. this is one part one part this we will divide into this i will explain it on the next uh, so we have to give the bend length and bend measurement for both bend okay so i will just simply here this is now i'm on the left view i will i will take flat shot here flat shot I will take I will obstructed line I need okay hidden as a hidden line so I will create one flat shot here enter 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 then on the left we have I get this one you can see here it's all flat shot so I will work on this I need also top view flat shot flat shot okay if you want you can show or no problem without uh, hidden lines okay this will work also then i want one uh, isometric view flat shot it's also without hidden lines so i will work on basically i will work on these three views i will cut from here i'll go to top i'll paste then I will go to left. I will cut cut this. Go to top. So here we need to rotate as per the elevation we are showing here. So this will be the elevation of this. 
Hmm, this is the perspective. So I'll make one copy here and then explode. Then I will delete this. I will delete this line. Delete this line. And I don't need also this one. This all part. It is only for the bend requirement. Delete this all. So when you will, you are making the bend. You don't have to give this uh, iPad position. So here, delete all one by one like this. Because we are giving only bent details. So I don't need this cover only at end edge of the bend. So we have already two bends. I will just move it a little up. Or I will copy and move it down. Whenever you give a bending drawing, just try to rotate on the same plan. So then you can get also easy measurement, and it will also it will you can cross check it here. Now this both edges is on the same same plane. I will rotate also this. So this is now if you can check here. In the bend, bending drawing, you have to give the two radius internal and external radius. Okay. This two is very important because all the new machines they, they are working on the radius base bending. So we have to set the radi radius value, inner and outer, and then according to that machine will bend the required material. So I will also tell the as per the old machine without radius what they are doing. There there is two different options. One is they will just check from this end. To this end, they will they will start doing bend until get this measurement, and then you can then they will find out, find out when they get this measurement at this length. So they can also check this one is correct or no. And also there is one gauge. What they will do? They will make one um, like bending gauge, the one flat bar. Like I will make here and then I will easily get 
500 mm flat bar and the middle they will put one bush and then in the bush they will put one uh, bolt well one nut both sides are two nuts and then from that nut they will they will fake there will be one bolt long bolt so on this the bolt will be here on um, then if they will tie it it will go this direction if they will make loose then other way so here what they do at the one meter like let's see from the middle from the middle we'll see 50 15 at one meter they will keep this straight this gauge usually they are considering one meter or like that so this from the drawing we can give this measurement like they have to check this 18 mm bend per meter so they can check cross check at two three locations so bend will be okay and also there is one more thing i want to tell you You have to give this uh, top cur maximum curve length. Maximum curve length. So if you will give the inner, it will be lesser because this is the see the radius you can see seven one two eight seven two one zero. This is the maximum side. So that side is the maximum length of that. So you have to consider during material order. You have to consider. Here the machine clamping length. Each bending machine they have required minimum 25 centi length for the clamping. It will be go inside the machine jaws. So it machine will hold that part on the both end and then roll. So that you have to consider during material like see here we have five four five four uh, bend length so five four five four plus 25 centi one side plus 25 centi other side so it is coming 595 so it means it's okay uh, our regular material length is coming six meter so if we order material six meter that will be fine sometime if required more they can they can weld the piece before bending to get the existing uh, required the length so this will also so here i will show the show here the profile this is the 73 mm bend pipe you can give this bend size also 505 so here the same measurement you have to give for a small bend inner radius outer radius then the curve length just check if your curve is in more parts than just draw one arc from the start to end then just uh, drag this arc to here after that or you can change the color so you can know which one is this you will draw a new one so just uh, mark the check the measurement for the new drawn arc after that you can delete no problem so this is the arc length and then you can give here that bend height and then of course the profile of the pipe you have to show so this is 73 you have to give detail the thickness of the in the summary material summary we will write there this 73 by 5.16 thick pipe 
or whatever thickness you are doing so this bend bending drawing complete only you have to write the quantity how many numbers you have required you have to write the quantity so what we do here this is our perspective view i will label here with part number so also we can prepare the assembly list and then we will give the part number for this both band here i will this we have one more uh, i will copy of this now <clears throat> see before in 3d we have just generated the center line of this connect button and then, then sweep now we have to give for the fabrication of this fabrication length of this round bar then you can there will be two options you can give you can give like this the all in zero one side small one side big so here it was like this so we will consider here this piece like this So here this piece will be just extend till here like this so here this piece will be extended so here also this piece will be extended You have to give as simple as uh, for fabrication like if you will give too much uh, uh, angle cutting so it is very hard it will take time so just make it simple for the fabrication the more simple fabrication drawing the less time will take to fabricate the structure so this is very important the simple drawing simple and detail with accurate detail not uh, too much detail unnecessary detail if you will give that will also hard to understand for the fabricator only particular required detail you have to provide in the fabrication drawing unnecessary measurements if you will give then it will create some confusion so there are a lot of chances of mistake Here we have clear the rebars detailing. Even if you will give like this, because we have uh, bending a uh, welding margin like four to five mm, and it's more. So we have to cut it like incline angle cutting. So now you have here one, 
this all piece you have to give separate measurement one by one This is very little, so you can skip even one moment, no problem. Some people are asking like how much accuracy we have required in the fabrication drawing, or like margin, how much uh, we can give tolerance to the fabricator so the fabrication tolerance there is it is not necessary to just fabricate like in accurate as per maximum accurate only the fixation accuracy should be proper like you have some measurement for the client will check uh, after completion they will check the they will check the shade length like from the center of the column to the end of the steel frame so this should be proper 2 3 mm 5 mm if plus minus it will work and this clear height should be proper there are also only one centi or less than one centi tolerance in this two three centi you're gonna just from the anchor bolt thread this just remember one thing if this bend will be not properly bent it will affect the clear height and it will affect also the length so make sure during bending this bend pipe will be bent perfectly top bend because here it will also affect the height if more bend if they will make more bend this height will be decreased like more bend will come down so it will increase the decrease the clear height so it will be a problem the less bend more height more height a little two three centi no issue but you have to also consider more structure then you have to also precise the bend because the different bend the view will change if you will see on the side elevation if <coughs> in one line like three or four structure if different bend then it will be like uh, I will just copy one frame then you can understand For example, if one bend is not okay, then it will look like this something on the elevation. So it will be look very bad, very bad. So in bend you don't have tolerance. Only 5 mm tolerance you have to give in the bend, not more. 
and also this if bend different bend this will affect the lot of things including clear height the elevation it will affect also your fabric because at this type of structure you have to only measure after fabrication uh, this measure from top of the bend to here ipad center of the ipad to the uh, here center of the ipad align to this top bend you have to measure and then you have to take the measurement from the side foundation center to center and then you have to make the fabric accordingly if your bend will be different then it will be a problem because the different bend the length will be different if more bend more length less bend less length so it will be a problem especially sdp it will work like a two three cm shorter it will more stretch like three percent maximum allowable stretching length but in pvc it's very hard to stretch like if you will check the specs of the fabric you have only one percent less than one percent you have elongation value but uh, practically it's very hard to stretch at that limit so practically in like you can get normally on with the pulling normal pulling devices there's plungers for pulling you can get only in one meter like 5 mm or less like 4 mm so for parking we are considering only like column to column we have a 5 meter then we have for stretching only considering like 2 cm or if or maximum 3 cm if span we have 6 meter like 3 cm 5 mm per meter you have to consider the stretching in pvc 5 mm it is only 0.5 percent of the length but in hdp it will stretch till till and more than 3 percent of the length so you don't have to be worry about the hdp it is easy fixation but the pvc should be very precise measurement and precise fabric if the fabric will not make properly then it will come wrinkle or the structure also it will affect the fabric shape so this fabric will look very bad even you will stretch some in some area more stretching then also it will appear this uh, wrinkle will appear on the fabric so the visually it will look very bad so this thing are very important these all are connected with the structures if structure is precise then this everything will be fixed smoothly so i have to be very careful in the fabrication so we already get this uh, round bar member here i will make it uh, separate Here we have so we have to give this to fabricator. these details should be perfectly given to fabricator otherwise he will if he, this detail he did not get then he will make like a 
manual as per his own mind or as per verbal instruction so the there's lot of chances of the view sometime client is very he will make the very detailed inspection so he will check everything like the view especially he clients some clients are very concerned about the view structure view as per proof of drawing and as per installed because lot of people are doing cheating in the structure so they are checking the quality and the measurement and the material specs very carefully so these thing you have to be very careful just for this measurement you have to be given maximum the maximum length and then you have to give the taper length so that they will catch easily only this we have to give not too much details only simple even you will not give this one it will work like this minimum length so give only this maximum and then give the taper length of this so they will make mark and they will cut so it will be very easy for them only three measurement no need to give the degrees and this because this length more dimension not required it will be more confusion the less dimension the less time will take to fabricate less and only the required dimensions mostly draws men are not thinking about the practically point of view like they have to think about what dimension the fabricator required so only that dimension they have to show on the drawing in other case because most some drafts when they are doing they are showing the too much dimension so it will be very hard for the fabricator and it will take more time so just uh, careful about this so one side is complete and very less no need to give very small if more than 1 cm you have to give the taper otherwise it will fine this okay this always the maximum
so these are bands diagonal member publication details measurements are ready so we have to now we have to give detail for the these are these are also very important so how you have given these detail to fabricator to fixing of this members so first from start from here to here it is important show from the edge of the cover just give the straight measurements not a curved one only straight measurement from the start to start from here to here next so it will be very easy for them For fixing of this rebar, there will be like one centi on tolerance because only we require the particular shape. It will not affect the fixing of the fabric or structure. So if uh, one centi, two centi different, it will not be a big issue. So only for the getting the exact view as per the approved drawing we have to give this detail to fabricator so he will prepare accordingly These detail will be applicable to uh, all trusses. Only the iPad position and iPad direction, not position, iPad direction and the quantity will be different as per the plan. So that's it. We don't have to give more details. That will be that is enough. Starting from here to this and from down so this will be required for the fixing of the round bars so this two for this so after this uh, we have to give our list, uh, So you have given or we have given already this bend fixing detail. Now we have to give fabrication drying for this truss. So it should be very precise and with less measurements because they will do the marking on the ground and then put all the members on the ground and they will assemble so 
in that case you have to give only particular measurements so it will be easy for them so I will suggest here one thing just at least make something in one plan now what they will do you have to think for assembly as per the if how it will be easy for the fabricator because the easy retail will take less time so he will draw this line on the floor okay then we will try to give something like square or rectangular or you can do one thing also usually we are doing like this so it will be more accurate and it will be so here I will make one line rotate center the center line so I will make line here from that center to this center and I will make it up and I will also make it up ok then here you have to give one maximum point maximum point of this then let's try to make one rectangle or square or like this shape so we have the these limitation okay so they will draw on the floor this so after that everything this outer four line will be their reference line so they have to all around they can check all the measurement on these from these four lines so you have to provide the reference from this four lines so let from here up to here so at each point you have to give detail in the two two direction two axis so here I have given this hole maximum element and then they have to mark from top line to here 284 and from this to here 25 this will be the position of the iPad center top top hole so here also you have to give this the six element then you have to give this one 
after that you have to give at least one or two if they can check from hole to hole this should be one will be also enough so this will be a cross check we have already given from this edge to this 25 and top this one 24 and this point also 6 and 22 and this is cross check so if they will make any mistake here in these two points so they cannot get this measurement or if they will make mistake here so they cannot get this two measurement so just give always detail like this if they will not follow one measurement other will change so you can easily catch the welding mistake so here up to here this is the center of the here so from here up to here top position you have to get so that is clear so other side for the cross measurement you can give this diagonal measurement so it will be also a cross check or you can give from here up to this center and then from this center to this will be a cross check is it they make perfect or there is anything if they control this measurement so this all internal number will be also fixed properly so the shape will be also perfect so that only things in this detail on no need to give the band member the other things only the marking on the floor and the position of the <coughs> all the parts position of the parts so other all detail this ipad position <coughs> will give separate I mean, this will if you want to give this is very easy not a if regular fabricator doing this work he knows this these thing it is very simple and it is not uh, complicated for them <coughs> so all the all the ipad they have to fix in the detail we can give some time like this will be on the edge of the pipe the cutting length the end of the pipe they will be equal so you can keep from top to top face of the ipad to top face of the pipe it is 36 or uh, here also top face of the ipad and top face of the pipe to 36 37 actually it's a 73 mm pipe so if you seven, half of 73 will be 36.5 so if it is 36.6 showing it will show here 37 so it is here also like this so actually it is 36.5 so here also on other end you have to or you can give here i think better we can now we copy this ipad this ipad 3 ipad because you have to give also the full exact position I will copy and then i will drag it to this frame so here what we do oh, i think i rotated this one okay this is we have original here so no problem so here just make one whole center and then extend on both side in the middle also do the same center of the ipad hole and then extend on the both side here also make the same and 
then draw one arc till this line and then again one arc otherwise you have to break this portion so this way it is it's up to you both both is the same we can get the same arc so i'm making one with different color so here i have to give this length this length so here the start also you have to give from this edge to this edge this edge to this edge Actually, this uh, you see our assembly side elevation. This pipe should be in the middle of this arc. During modeling, I forget this one. Make in the middle. This is also very important. Sorry for that, I forget in the previous video. So this is in the middle. So you, what you have to do, and you can do in here detailing just uh, draw an arc from here to this center this side by center the center and then drag it to the center line okay i already draw this one now this is the center of the line so what i do i will just move and move this right pad Here and then you have to rotate this one. Okay, this is very important. It should be on the should be aligned to maximum aligned to the center. Now it's fine. So here these points will change see now it's fine to 70 and to 69 only one centimeter fine it is only if we will check from the center it is if we check the center measurement like I will check also Break. 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 So here, arc 
length and center line 268.6267.6 so one centimeter issue but it should not be more far to this before it was here so it should be in the exact in the middle of that one two centimeter issue but it should be on the all trusses on the same position because if it, the position on all trusses will be different then it is also alignment problem of the purling middle purling so this is also very important so iPad position also we have right written here so that's it we will show on the one detail this this three detail on the one page this one or also to that bend then the labeling so for the you can only you can show the plan view for the other ultrases like b1 or b1 r will be only the mirror mirror of the b1 l like this like this then the b1 m is the double sided ipad so these are the plan of the plan view of the all three trusses so our fabrication drawing for this truss is completed only we have to show in the sheet and just in the sheet so what we do here b1 fabrication points model view in most of the companies only this detail you have to be given and then assembly detail if you will not give it will, it will be not a big issue but for the professional companies it's required it is required uh, on a regular basis because they have some they have the to achieve the production targets so they have to know the e weight of the each assembly and uh, each fabrication drawing you have to be released with the weight so on the daily basis how many pieces they will make so on the daily production activity they will show these details that they have today production activity they have prepare these items on the daily activity report they will mention the things so here this we have then we have uh, two more view we have uh, this view here for the fabrication Pen details we have, it is also very important. So here. After that, we have here this iPad, this iPad, and this cover plate. Only three members are left. So, what do we do? We copy here this ipad is for the both trusses are the same just try to make maximum things similar so it will be very easy doing fabrication so they will they will use same and the, if you will make a different so they maybe they will mix up and then it will be a chance of mistake so try to be make some most the most of the things similar like the more easy structure drawing publication drawing the less uh, mistakes so here we have 
our plate same dye of the pipe and we have to write down here the thickness it is a 10 mm then here we have to give the details of the iPad Center to center, center. These radius are not uh, have any standard only for the smoothness and visually it will look good. Only that's you can choose by your own. So this whole size is like this. If you want to show the elevations, 95 by 10. This would this uh, this was 12 mm. This iPad was 12 mm. We have this holes. So I show only the thickness. Now there are details here. So what do? Then we have one more iPad. On the top view we can now take this one we can take here uh, if you not sure you can take from a 3d model just all the rotated members you have to copy it from the 3d model so it will be uh, not there will be less chances of mistake new files and I will just make flat shot and I will arrange again bring back it to the main file so this was the iPad we will check if it is properly flat so flat shot take flat shot okay. take also revision flat shot with hidden okay whatever no problem to a small cut group top I will paste I will cut this both view I need I will go to main file and I will paste it here so try maximum to make as simple as much as I can the only main thing of the fabrication drawing is the proper detailing for the easy understanding of for the fabricator how he has how he has to fabricate the material and assemble the things if you will give these detail properly to the fabricator so there will be less chances of the mistake and all the structure will be properly as per the architecture law structure approved drawing the look will be like this less chances of mistake we have a iPad number these quantity quantity you have to write for each trust you have it is one number and 
let's go up late it is front on back both sides same same thickness it should be with two number with each truss and then, then we have a perlin connection ipad so quantity for this for the left it will be only three for the right also it will be only three for the middle it will be six three plus three plus three i'll show you on the plan we have to worry you know, show your plan there's the space i'll show here plan i'll manage the space So here I will show the plan. This you can write the labeling left, right, and middle. Okay, and also you can label the. I don't have space now on the sheet. On the next sheet, or you can give. This view should be there and then you can write typical view for the B1 this you can write here follow the plan plan view of the truss for the position and quantity of the iPads so, this application drawing